Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys um, a new plugin that I've put on the Asset Store. So it's for Unity. Um, I built it on Unity 2017.3. So you can get it from the Asset Store. Um, so what it is is basically a dialogue um, package where you can create custom dialogues for your game. So I've imported the uh, plugin. So let me open up the simple demo. So I'm going to show you what it does. So press play. So you've got a character running. So when you interact with an NPC, uh, a dialogue window will pop up. When you walk away, it will be hidden automatically. So let's say your player is uh, away from the NPC and it clicks on the NPC. It will wait until the player comes near to the NPC, then it opens up the dialogue box. So you can have options like this uh, next button, um, previous button, and everything is customizable. You can have uh, custom actions such as uh, these two buttons, oh no and sure. So. You can call custom um, callbacks where uh, I just shown just now. When it clicks OK Sure, it will pop up these three orbs. And you can have dialogues that has timeouts. So yeah, that's the demo. Okay, I'm going to show you how to configure the dialog box. So inside the demo folder, there's um, this data folder. You've got two, you've got the play dialogues, which is shown by the play, the blue um, uh, square, uh, the blue box, and the white one, which is this white box. So uh, for this dialogue box, there's two different types of data. One is the dialogue box itself. One dialogue box um, can have multiple lines, such as this one. It has five lines, and you have the option to whether or not to show the close button. So, so this is the dialog box and this is lines. So in lines you have uh, multiple options. When you have um, what's the line that the the going to the NPC is going to see itself, whether it's auto closing and the auto close timeout. So if you check this box and you put let's say five, um, this box will uh, automatically close in five seconds. Then whether you have a previous uh, button, uh, you have a next button, you can edit the text here to use other languages uh, other than English. And you can have alternative buttons, uh, like I showed you just now. Um, you have two alternative buttons, so let's show the UI. Right, you can add uh, events here more than one events that is called when the user presses uh, the buttons and you can have um, you can override the npc so right now um, this particular line is connected to this npc which is the white one which is this guy but if let's say you want to change um, the line to show uh, this guy's uh, thumbnail and name you can change it over there. You can change it over here. You can change the name and the thumbnail, right? You can also have uh, on open and on close trigger events where the events will be triggered um, on open and on closing of the um, dialog box. <coughs> so in this package, there's two uh, demos. One is the simple just show hide um, dialog box, and another one is a uh, animated one. So I'm going to show you the animated one. Okay, so when we press play. So when we press play and goes to the, to the NPC, you see that the dialog box pops up from the bottom. So how I implemented this is just using a simple um, animation. 
which you can see over here it's under animations just a simple hide idle and show animation so you can customize that right so the dialog box itself is um, built up of simple unity um, buttons and GUI so it's you can customize it uh, to match your style of uh, game you can let's say change this background to something else so it's up to you All right so I guess that's that's a simple uh, demo of this package hope you uh, like it and build awesome stuff on it that's all, thanks. Bye now.